When we arrived here at Hoylake on Saturday morning, the situation was this. The field had to chase a 44-year-old Argentinian named Roberto de Vicenza. He was two shots ahead of the field, two shots ahead of Gary Player from South Africa, three ahead of Jack Nicholas of America, and four ahead of Clive Clark of Great Britain. It's where he has a great advantage, because he drives so far, he always has a smaller club than the others. There they come, one after the other, thump, 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 up beside the flag, giving him a putt for a birdie. He did just the same during the US Open, which we saw in this country via the satellite, and I hope that the pictures of this going back by the satellite at this moment to the United States will be as good as the ones we got from them. So this to go, ten under. That must almost certainly seal it now. So here he goes to the 17th tee, Roberto Vicenzo, 10 under par. Just a little to the left, all the way, or so we thought, but it just touched the hole. Great disappointment for the holder, Jack Nicholas. Swung beautifully slowly. In it goes. Well done indeed, Clive Clark. So that takes Clive Clark to four under, the same as player who's playing with Vicenzo just behind. Don't see it. Oh, yes, on the right-hand side of the fairway. And you'll be able to pitch it up over the bunkers. about that one. I really think that probably does clinch it. I've been nervous of making such a suggestion before, but uh, that's a four for Vicenzo, ten under, and ahead of him, Nicholas, seven under. There's got to be a difference of three strokes at this last hole, so we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and watch them come up to the 18th. Just exactly the shape of shot that one expected. Dropping like a poached egg about nine feet short of the hole, giving him an obvious chance of a three. Probably too little and too late, but a fine finish for Jack Nicholas, and he gets a tremendous round of applause from these packed stacks. Five under now and lying third. Oh. Wonderful calm with which he is playing. Possibly twelve, obviously very holdable. Player has just had a three just behind him to go five under. Clark is four under great thing if he could hold this to draw level with player for third place. Little short perhaps. Yes. So it's four under for Clive Clark. 284 and he 
takes a one-stroke lead over Tony Jacklin as the leading home player. Well done, Clive Clark. Seven under now, this to get eight under. Eight under for Nicholas, 280. Four under for Clive Clark, 284. And now we have left only Vincenzo and Player. Roberto's driven into the perfect position right in the centre of the fairway. Uh, he needs a five to win, and I think he'll play pretty much into the heart centre of the green. That's where he'll be aiming, I feel sure. That's right in the centre of the green, exactly the right length. <laughs> A wonderful moment. If player can hold this, he'll take third place on his own. There's one of these so-called ping putters. Just rolled away at the last minute. So it's four under for player and player joins Clive Clark at 284. 280 Nicholas. So now, there's the great moment of triumph for Vicenzo, and what a roar there'll be in a minute.